Welcome to the Halfwood Press Studio. Today we're testing ha Mini Halfwood Press number 47 on its way to Alaska this week. And with every Halfwood Press I make, I do a test. This artist sent me a JPEG image on the internet and uh, in an email, and I transferred it to 22 gauge copper with the laser print transfer technique on silicone coated paper. Now this blue etching ink I chose because the original art was blue. It was titled Blue Moose, by the way. And this etching ink is quite stiff, very stiff. And so I'm going to modify it with a little Miracle Gel Reducer. This is a small can that I took from a larger can that I bought from Daniel Smith Ink Company in Seattle. It's a kind of a, I don't know what it is, it's a kind of wax or oil mixture or something like that. And you just take a little bit of that and work it into the ink. This takes quite a while, so we'll pause the video until I'm finished. What a difference it made. I added probably three or four times more of that little bit that you saw at the beginning. There are other ink modifiers to make your ink softer, easier to manage. One is made by Graphic Chemical and Ink Company, and it's called Easy Wipe. Another way to reduce inks and change the ink is with burnt plate oil. There's still another way, and that's with flash oil, 470, another Daniel Smith product. Any of these things added to your ink will change the way it works. Finally, there's temperature. This is a little hot plate that is uh, warming up and when I wipe my plates I often warm the plate. Also when I print the plate I warm it first. Now I'm ready to ink up the plate. Take a little bit. Be careful not to scratch the plate with this steel spatula. Another way to spread the ink out, which is a little safer, is to use a little chip of four-ply mat board. Onto the hot plate. The ink will immediately get a lot softer, but you don't overheat the plate. It shouldn't be so hot that you can't pick it up. What I'm using underneath is called a sticky board. It's that kind of, of uh, plastic pad that you can buy in kitchen supply stores to keep things from sliding around. And I stapled it to a piece of plywood. So it makes a handy little uh, device for holding your plate while you're inking and wiping. Now it's time to start wiping the plate. I can wipe with Tarleton which is a kind of a starched cheesecloth. I have a collection of various colors here from dark to light. You wipe lightly and quickly. You see the image coming up right away. But you don't want to overdo the tarleton wiping otherwise you'll wipe out the image. Lately I've switched over most of the time to paper wiping which is telephone pages. Not too hot to handle. Onto the sticky pad. Now while I'm wiping the plate, I would tell you that under the press, visible underneath the press that I'm going to test, is a damp book. It looks like a plastic bag, and it has about four or five sheets of paper that I soaked for a few minutes, then blotted off and put into the damp bag, and they've been sitting there under the press, under weight, for overnight. That makes the paper, which is a 
printmaking paper, nice and soft, and that will make the paper able to be embossed down into the plate and around the plate mark. That does it for the paper wipe. Now we go to the hand wipe. The hand wipe, it's helped along with a little bit of talcum powder. The hand wipe is a light, quick pass of the heel of the hand across the plate. If you like a, a less contrasty image, you might not do the hand wipe. You might also add more oil to your ink. Now some cleaning on the edges. Now we're ready for the first trial proof. I'm going to put this material under the mini half wood press because it only weighs 12 pounds and until you become accustomed to it, it might tend to walk around. Now here's how you load the press. First I tighten the roll, the top roller, the top roller all the way down to the, the bed. And then I count the turns, one, two, three, four, five, five half turns, six, seven, eight, nine, ten half turns, which is about five turns total. And then it's pretty easy to start, start the uh, roller under. Then I tighten it back down. One, two, three, four. I have two kinds of paper in here. I believe this one is Arches Cover. Now we're ready to test number 47. Now we pull the proof. There it is. Blue Moose, after an artwork by the artist who purchased this press, who bought this press, and for whom I made this press and this test print. Owners always get the print, the plate, and all the little pieces and parts that went into making it. So this completes the test. Thank you for watching. To make a silly transfer etching, you print on that throwaway backing from label stock. I worked from an image from uh, Photoshop and printed it on a laser printer. And then I used a laminator to transfer the image to a copper plate. And I peeled off that backing paper and it left the toner on the copper. Then I etched it in uh, ferric chloride. After I put on an aqua tint, I put the aqua tint on to reinforce the toner. It takes about seven seconds to lay the aqua tint powder. And then I fuse it on with a hot plate. Then I thought this one needed a little reinforcement with some spray paint and some touching up with rosin stop out before it went into the ferric chloride. Took it out of the ferric chloride, washed it off, and sometimes I like to give it a bath in, a, in um, vinegar with a little salt. It sort of brightens up the image after it's been in that bath. Then I rinse it off again blow it dry and check to see how the etching went. It looked beautiful. So I cleaned it off with alcohol, it takes away the rosin, and then lacquer thinner. I had a fan going in the background. It dissolves the black toner and there's my plate.